abundance of history to learn throughout the world, and Hubie is going to help us out by telling us some key points in history that happened this week. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Razel. I'm going to be getting you up to date on a couple of things that happened this week in history. Let's get started. Have you ever heard the phrase, the Ides of March? Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. The Ides of March was the day that Julius Caesar was assassinated by Roman senators in 44 BC on March 15th, which is seen as, the un as an unlucky day. Before Caesar had died, he was told the to fortune to beware the Ides of March, but obviously he didn't because he was stabbed on that day. In 1820, on the same day, Maine became the 23rd state of the United States of America. On March 16, 1833, Susan Hayhurst became the first woman to graduate from a pharmacy college. That fact is especially important since it's Women's History Month. You've also probably heard of The Greatest Showman. Well, on March 18th in 1881, Barnum and Bailey's Greatest Show on Earth opened in Madison Square Gardens. This is The Greatest Show! Well, that's it for this week. Bye, guys. That's so interesting, Hoovy. Thank you for sharing. Hi everyone, I'm Rafi and I would like to share with you some of the things about one of the prayers we like to say almost every day, Ein Kelohinu. A majority of it consists of us praising and glorifying God. There are five main parts of Ein Kelohinu. Ein, Micha, No, De, Baruch, and Atah. Those five words or phrases each go before Elokeinu, Adonainu, Kemokeinu, and Kemoshienu. The Elokeinu part translates to, There is none like our God, who is like our God, let us thank our God, Blessed be our God, and you are our God. The next main part translates to, There is none like our God, who is like our, our Lord, and who conti and continues to the rest of the Adonainus. The last two parts, Kemalkenu and Kemoshienu, consist of the same parts as the rest, just changing the ending phrase. It's so nice to see the weather getting warmer with each week. Itai is going to be telling us about this week's weather forecast. Thank you so much. This week, most, if not all, the snow from last month will have melted. However, it will still be cold in the high 30s and low to mid 40s. There will also be some light showers throughout this week, with a little snow. So remember, wear warm clothes to protect you against the rain, like raincoats, hats, and rain boots, when going to school or playing outside, so you don't get catch a cold. Sounds good, Itai. Thank you for letting us know. Hi, I'm Ari with all the latest events. There was not that much news this week, but there was a few interesting things that I came across. To start off, the Perseverance rover ventured from its landing position Thursday, two weeks after setting down on the red planet to seek past signs of life. The roundabout back and forth drive lasted just, about, just 33 minutes and went so well that more driving set to take place next week. Secondly, an asteroid known as Apophis sits silently past the Earth this week. Apophis is roughly the size of the Eiffel Tower, and on this past flyby, it was more than 40 times as far away from Earth as the Moon. However, on April 13, 2029, Apophis will get as close as 19,800 miles from Earth, and in some locations will be visible to the naked eye. Lastly, there is some news about jobs in America. Last month, there was a total of 379,000 new jobs, and under normal circumstances, data like that looks great. However, despite the encouraging report, the domestic economy is 9.45 million jobs short of where we were near a year ago. Since the new surge of jobs this past month, the un unemployment rate has fallen to 6.2%, which is good news. But it will still be a while until we get back to where we were. Thank you so much for listening, and stay tuned for current events next week. Since there is a new Parsha that is read every week in Judaism, Sam is going to tell us about this week's Parsha, Parshat Vayikra. In Parsha of Vayikra, God tells Moses about the Karbanot laws. Karbanot are the animal sacrifices at the temple. People gave Karbanot for many different reasons, such as sins, peace offerings, and guilt. Thank you, Sammy. 